clinical pharmacy pharmaceutical care plan application in this video I'm going to discuss a case in order to know how to apply the pharmaceutical care plan SF is a 35 years old man known to have hypertension his weight is 98 kilogram and the height is 170 centimeter. This patient admitted to accident and emergency complaining of severe headache, not resolved by paracetamol. He feels tired and anxious. He is a smoker, around one packet per day. Upon admission, his blood pressure was 145 over 95 millimeter mercury. The patient is taking a tenolol 100 mg daily and upon examination the chest and eye examination was with a normal level. The lab data including creatinine clearance, BUN, sodium etc. also were with a normal level. So according to what I discussed earlier in the previous videos Step 1 will be data collection. The information that we have to collect is age of the patient 35 years old, man, he has hypertension, his weight is 98 kilogram, the height is 170 centimeter, he is known as a smoker, his blood pressure measurements upon admission was 145 per 95 millimeter mercury and for the medication history he's taking a tenolol 100 milligram daily and uh, the examination and lab results all were with the normal level the second step is identification problem to identify the problem for this patient, he has hypertension, the weight is 98 kilogram, and the height is 170 centimeter, which means this patient is obese. He, comp he complains of severe headache, not resolved by paracetamol. Also, he complained from tiredness and anxiety. He is a smoker. The blood pressure measurements is 145 per 95 millimeter mercury. So, the what are the subjectives uh, in this case? Subjectives, as I did, uh, I identified before, it will be the symptoms that has been told by the patient. So here in this case. It will be severe headache, not resolved by paracetamol, tiredness and anxiety. And also he mentioned that he's a smoker. For the objectives, it will be uh, the blood pressure, which is 145 over 95, hypertensive patient, upon the measurements of blood pressure. And also this patient is obese according to the weight compared to the height. Step 3 is to assess the problem. You have to analyze and integrate the data from step 1 and 2 and to draw a conclusion in order to develop the pharmaceutical care plan. For this patient, I can consider him having uncontrolled hypertension that may be aggravated by smoking and obesity, in addition to under compliance with medication. We have to ask the patient if he's taking the medication regularly or not. This might lead to decreased physical, social and psychological well-being. Step 4 is development of pharmaceutical care plan and therapeutic goals. 
The plan for this patient first is to refer the patient to smoking cessation clinic. Second is to refer the patient to a dietitian. Third is to ensure adherence to medication. In such a case, you have to educate the patient about the importance of compliance to treatment, the medication refill pattern, and the importance of regular follow-up of his blood pressure measurements. And the last step in the plan is education of the patient. To educate the patient, you have to, discuss, uh, you have to discuss with him the therapeutic goals, the short-term goal and long-term goal. So the short-term goal, which is achievement of a diastolic blood pressure less than 90 millimeter mercury, but more than 65 within three months. So you have timeline and hopefully it is realistic and meet the patient expectation and satisfaction. In addition, you have to avoid hypotension. The long-term goal is the prevention of long-term complication of hypertension, such as kidney damage, loss of eyesight, and development of congestive heart failure, or other cardiovascular complications. It is important and it's better to define these objectives to the patient rather than saying prevent complications of the disease. In addition, there is unstated objectives which are avoidance of side effect and to make treatment regimen very simple and cost effective as possible. Step 5 is evaluation and achievement of the outcome. In such a case, you have to have outcome indicators. For this patient, the indicators, we have uh, blood pressure as indicator, the weight, the smoking status, the pill count, and the absence of signs and symptoms that have been descri uh, described by the patient. So, uh, in the next appointment in the ambulatory care clinic, you have to check the blood pressure of the patient, the weight, the smoking status, and if there is a remaining number of pills uh, the patient still having. And thank you and wish you a good luck.